Welcome back. Today we are going to create an interesting game using the PoseNet mechanism. We will be creating an alien crusher game where our task is to crush an alien using our hands or bumping our fists. So without any ado, let's get started. I will be starting with the game setup and game loop first. We have also updated the game assets library so that you can find all the sprites and background images for your game here in the AMS. Click on library and you can see I have different kind of images over here. Let's check if I have an alien image. You all. And yes, I do have some alien images. So I will use this one or this one. I can use both of them. I will use add to the game, add to the game and done. Similarly, I will use a background image. So for background image, I will be using the this, this dungeon 2 image or I should use dungeon 1 actually. I'll go to dungeon 1, add to the game. Background music. This is good, so I'll add it to game. And tone. Let's see. No, I don't want this. This is good. So I'll go to game asset, I'll delete the electric current and splat is here, game music 2 is here, dungeon 1 is here and these two sprites are here. Let's go back to block 4D. Over here you can see I have these sprites. So first of all I'll go to sprite, create a sprite. You can see I've already uh, have a sprite created with alien monster. I can change its name but uh, you can go to sprite and create your new sprite or rename it. So how to rename it? If you just uh, click on it, you can rename it. Okay. Uh, I will not be renaming it. And then next is to set the position of this alien monster. I want this alien monster to be spawned at random location on my game world. In my game world. So what I'll be doing is I'll be going to world. I'll go to mathematics. And I will find this block called random integer. So I will put some values like 50 to 750 and duplicate it for 50 to 350 because this is from 0 to 800. So I'm leaving the 50 pixel space from both sides and this is 0 to 400. So I am uh, leaving some space, uh, same space, 50 pixels from both the sides. So 50 and 350. Okay. Now let's test this first save it and test if it is working or not. Yeah, you can see it is basically working. The size of this sprite is too big. I want to reduce it down. Set alien monster scale to 50%. Next thing is I want my twists to be detected. So I need to use the posenet mechanism. So I'll go to posenet and if the pose is detected if the pose is detected what should I do I should check if they are touching this sprite okay if they are touching the alien sprite if then I go to sprite and pick up this block which says if alien monster is touching sprite or marker so I don't have any marker right now I need to create some markers for my game so what I'll do is I'll create marker, marker one. Similarly, I create marker two. So create marker one and duplicate, create marker two. Once this is done, I will set their position. So set marker diameter first which will be like 10 duplicate yeah and then if pose is detected set marker position <laughs> will be like right index and left index I can also choose these points which is the wrist point let's choose the wrist point for easier access okay like this and then 
I can do this. Marker 1 and I need an and as well because I want to crush it with both of my hands. I need to detect if both of the hands are touching this sprite. Okay. So this will be marker 2. So if sprite alien monster is touching marker 1 and marker 2, what should happen? First of all, a sound should come and then the position of this alien monster should change. Okay. To a random location again. So let's save it and test it. Yeah, you can see I have this uh, sprite and I have these two markers. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just increase the marker size uh, which will be like 15 and 15 and I can also color them. So both of them will be red and save it. 50% is still bigger, so I'll keep it on 30%. Save. Play. And I'll turn on the key points. And play the game. I'll be moving back. Okay, so you can see when I'm bringing these two points closer, I need to do this. Okay, sometimes the camera is not able to detect uh, what is happening. So let's check. Let me see. Not very perfect. It's still not very perfect. Okay, so what we'll do is to make it a perfect game, we need to use some sprites. Okay, so I'll save it. I will not be using the markers now and I'll be using some sprites because sprites are bigger in size and they can map they can be mapped to our uh, positions and then we can actually uh, kill this or crush this sprite or the alien in our game. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll delete everything over here. Similarly, I'll keep this aside and de delete these two as well. Okay. Then I'm going to add some sprite again into my game. I'll go into sports. I'll just search for boxing. You can see I have these two uh, sprites of left and right, left and right. Add to game. Add to game. And go back to block coding. Then I will create two more sprites. So I'll name it left box, left boxing and right boxing. Okay. And then I'll create these sprites. So left boxing and right boxing, left boxing image will be this and right boxing image will be this. I can reduce the size as well because these two will be larger in size. I will reduce it to 30% or maybe 50% is good. Yeah. Then same thing, I need to map these two sprites onto my uh, body. So I will set their position, right body position. Or left boxing position to the left wrist similarly duplicate it for right and select the right wrist okay uh, save and then do this now I need to change these because now I am not touching the markers I'm not detecting the markers there are no markers in my game so I need to select left boxing and right box and save position now let's try to play the game I think it will be more easier to play it now yeah you can see I can increase the size of these two uh, sprites if I want Let's try to increase it and then play the game. So I will keep it 200 or I will just delete these two blocks and save it. And let's check. 
what is happening. Yeah, now, now it's good. So again, not really perfect, but yes, if I can start. Okay. Now the next thing is I was just I will just change the image of my monster to this image whenever I'm crushing it. So I'll go to sprite, change sprite image or set sprite image to this and select alien monster. And then Actually, I'll do it first and then I'll add this. Uh, go to control, run after. I'll change the timing to 200. And then duplicate this. Or I can decrease it to like 100 only. It's a very short time. Okay. So now let's try to play the game. Good. You can see the image was changing, but one thing is happening. Basically, uh, this uh, hundred millisecond time is still larger, so I'll just keep it to fifty milliseconds. Save it and then play. And see. And this is how you can create an alien crusher game using PoseNet. Try creating this game and play with your friends. Also, I have not added any kind of background music or the background image in this game. It's your job to try with these assets, the game assets that we added, that is background music, background image and tones. Also, there were no scores in this game. So your task is to add score as well and a live as well. Try to include all these features into your game. And if you come across any problem, put it down into the comment section. We will meet in the next class.